All right, hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the E4, the American Tier 10 tank destroyer, and whether or not you guys need this tank in 2024. Now, in this battle, I've done a record amount of damage for this account specifically, so uh, watch it and stay tuned, I think you guys will enjoy it. But apart from that, let's look at the E4 in pretty much close depth, right? Um... Now, if we look at the gun on this thing, I mean, it's not the best thing, right? I mean, the aim time on this thing is the worst among tier 10 tank destroyers. The accuracy is also not the greatest, to be honest. On top of that, you have APCR shells, which don't connect as well as AP shells. So you have that problem when it comes to the gun. Now, the DPM is pretty good, I would say. 3,200 is not bad, especially with this alpha at 630. So the alpha is pretty good, I would say, relative to other tier 10 TDs. I mean, compared to the grill, whatever, whatnot. But in general, the DPM is what keeps this tank more or less alive, right? It's not that the fact that this tank has just raw DPM, but it's the fact that it has good DPM with a good alpha per shot. So 630 and a reload time of, you know, almost 12 seconds, well, just under 12 seconds is just perfect for this tank. So in that regard, it is very, very good. And I'm very happy with this tank's performance when it comes to the DPM. Now, as I said, there are some flaws with the gun. So you do have to more or less play it on the first slash second line. I would not recommend playing this tank on the third line. Another huge problem this tank has is the fact that it does not have enough gun depression. Oh my days, the gun depression is six degrees. And at times you're sort of a high tank right so at times it really feels like you don't have enough gun depression sometimes i'm not able to shoot tanks uh, into the lower plate and that is extremely extremely annoying to be honest and i have to switch to gold in order to properly pen tanks right in terms of the armor profile this tank is pretty medium a lot of times you will be getting these random ricochets but to be honest if someone really wants to pen you they will right your cupola on top is relatively weak but in general the armor profile is quite good um the hp is also very solid for a td not the greatest of course but it's still pretty solid at uh, 2000 and you can get it up to 2.1k etc etc with all the perks so that is still very very good now when it comes to the mobility of the tank it's again pretty mediocre 37 kilometers forward is not the greatest and in just in terms of mobility it's pretty average right i mean you're never going to hear anyone say that the e4 has very good mobility so when it comes to that i mean forget about it the e4 has respectable mobility but not the greatest right now what are the strengths of this tank then so you have a pretty decent armor profile you have an okay you have an okay gun good dpm and uh, you know okay mobility this makes you a serious threat to a lot of tanks on the first and second line you peek out smack him in the face for 630 and you pull back simple as that so in terms of that gameplay i mean the tank is just very very good at just slapping a huge amount of damage onto tanks and that's why i really love the e4 tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below and with that happy is out and i'll definitely see you guys next time Bye bye